sure you already know what song this is. You've heard it on the radio, you've heard it on the TV, maybe in a nightclub, and it probably got stuck in your head for quite a long time. It's simple, it's efficient, it's lovely and danceable at the same time. In other words, it's perfect material for an ample sound tutorial video. So how to write songs that sound like Despacito with an ample sound guitar VST, it's starting right now. Hi guys, it's William K and I'm back for another video. If it's your first time here, you can hit the subscribe button so once a week you get a new free tutorial video on how to play with ample sound instruments. So in order to emulate a song that sounds like a Despacito, we need to analyze what chord progression Riz Fancy used when he wrote the famous hit song. And guess what? It's super simple. It goes with a B minor, then a G major, then a D major, and finally an A major, and sometimes an A suspended four. So some basic chords, nothing extraordinary. But the chord progression doesn't have to be extraordinary in order to make a hit song. In fact, a hit song follows a recipe, and we need to study what recipe Louis Fancy used when he wrote the song. And then we shall do the same. And in the end, the main ingredient in this Despacito is not much the guitar riff. It's more about the atmosphere that immediately sends the listener to kind of paradise. And the best way to send the listener to paradise is to start the song with beach and sea sounds. Then we definitely want to go with a shaker. Then we may need some percussive sounds, but you know, something that can be played by a guitarist alone on the beach. And the best way to do that is to open an ample sound acoustic guitar VST and use the following MIDI notes F6, F6, and G6. Have a listen. Sounds kinda great, so let's try that with a shaker and the C sound. So that C sound, percussive sound and shaker make a very good basis for a guitar intro. So that's what we're going to do right now. We are going now to open an ample sound acoustic guitar VST. We go to Riffer, we make sure that the quantization value is set at 1 slash 16, that the tempo is set at 90 BPM and that you have four measures opened in the grid. Now let's add a B chord. Extend it until position 1, 4, 2, turn the chord into a minor, and set the strum time to 350 milliseconds. Now add an articulation, go to the menu, and select silent stroke. Add another articulation, go to the menu again, but this time you select an upstroke. Cool, now right click anywhere in the measure, select copy measure to measure number 2, then copy it to measure number 3, and then again to measure number 4. Once you have done that, you can modify the root of the chords by left-clicking on them. You go to the menu, select the chord you need. In the second measure, we need to play a G chord, and then turn it to a major chord. Now, just do the same in the third and the fourth measure, where we want to play a D major and an A major. And when you have it done, just click on the crossbar, hold it, and drag it into your MIDI track. And let's hear how it sounds. Cool, now in Latino music genre, they do love to use classic guitars a lot. That's maybe because nylon guitars sound smooth and mellow, which is perfect for songs that talk about love and life on the beach. And guess what? Ample Sound provides us with such a guitar, which is named Ample Guitar Luther. So let's open that plugin and let's play a nice guitar solo. So the guitar solo follows the scale of B minor and it is relatively easy to play with a keyboard. So I'll let you download the MIDI file if you want to see how I build it up. But anyway, let's hear how it sounds with the track we've been working on.
So it's kind of cool, it's efficient, it's natural, and it's simple. And trust me, that kind of songs stay stuck in people's head for quite a long time. But apart of being a catchy song, Despacito is also a song that makes people dance. And nowadays, the best way to make people move on the dance floor is to play reggaeton on drums, just like this. And if we add the percussive guitar sound that we just designed a bit earlier, well, it's going to sound even better. So it's kind of groovy, but without a guitar, it's going to sound a bit empty. So just open your favorite Apple Sound Acoustic Guitar VST and let's go to Strama. Now, what is important in here is to be aligned with the drums. A reggaeton rhythm will put emphasis right here in anticipation of the third beat. And then right here between beat number three and beat number four. So you can basically program whatever you want, but make sure your pattern is aligned with the drums, or it will probably sound messy. So there are many patterns possible, and I'm going to give you some example in the video. Concerning the chord progression, we want to have five chords in the back. We want a B minor, a G major, a D major, an A suspended four, and an A major. And if you do not know how to program strumming with an Apple Sound instrument, you can watch my tutorial on how to strum an Apple Guitar VST. But anyway, here's an example of a pattern that sounds like the one used in Despacito. And well, now let's hear it with the drums and with the solo guitar. Alright, so we have a good introduction, we have quite a decent verse, but now what if we wanted to program a chorus? Well first, we need some punchy drums. And then we need a good guitar strumming pattern. So once again, go to your favorite Apple Guitar VST, just go to Strummer, and here you can see the pattern I designed for the chorus, which is kind of similar to the pattern programmed for the verse, but it has a bit more energy. So here's how it sounds. And now let's try it out with the other instruments. So intro, verse, chorus, this is just an example, but it follows the same recipe that Luis Fonsi used when he wrote Despacito, a song that is universal, easy to remember, easy to play, and very efficient in terms of marketing. So let's listen to the full song again. <laughs> 